Today is going to be a little bit of a fun and not so serious video. Uh, I apologize for the rain on the roof. It was very nice to listen to while in here, but I'm sure having to listen to this and when I have to go back and edit this, it's going to suck having to deal with that, but it is what it is. It's Arts and Crafts Day for the truck. I'm going to be doing something that I've wanted to do for a while now, and that is making an old school style, like 70s, 80s, vintage bug deflector for the front of it. I tried to find one online just for the simplicity of just buying one, but every one I found was like 250 to like 300, 350 bucks, and I'm not spending that on a piece of plastic. So instead, I bought a $100 sheet of plexiglass and like, I don't know, what is that, $20 in uh, angle iron for aluminum here, a couple bucks in hardware, and I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to make my own. Decided to redo the plexiglass piece here. Uh, I made that one yesterday and it wasn't the exact greatest. I don't know, I was kind of in a rush to get it done. This isn't the straightest and I kept hitting the uh, this piece on the cutoff under the plastic and then put this like burn into it. And then I was like, eh, truck's not perfect. This doesn't really have to be perfect, but if I have the opportunity to, might as well make it right so this one was all right consider it my test piece this one here is a lot better and i put more of a radius on the outside here so i think it'll look better as well um so it's exactly five feet across it is seven inches tall with a four and a half inch radius on each end right there so this one is looking a lot better took a lot more time filing the edges making sure they're flat and smooth there's no burrs if you see little stuff like that that's from the plastic uh, film on top so i'm going to peel that layer off bring this around the corner where there's no wind and uh spray some green on it look at that beautiful that looks pretty decent got the bug deflector all in place i've had it on here for probably two maybe three weeks now so it has gotten a little bit uh chipped up and stuff you could see there's some actually bugs and just dust and junk on it but overall i'm very happy with the way that came out figured i should probably show how it's actually mounted on here since i might get some questions about that or some people might be curious but i mean it's pretty simple just three holes on the uh underside there just some countersunk uh allen head bolts so it sits up flush because i was having issues with uh normal bolts hitting the top of the core support there and the hood not shutting it's a little snug as is just because of how thick this aluminum is um but i wanted this to be sturdy and solid and that is not going anywhere so you do got to put a little bit of pressure into it but other than that, it is not too difficult at all. Fitment wise, everything is pretty clear on the backside here. As you can tell, the hood kind of has a bow to it. Um, it's not perfectly flat like this piece is here. So the middle guy is a little bit close, but it is not touching, which uh, makes me happy. Everything else looks pretty good there. Overall, not too shabby. You can see some streak marks in the paint. I mean, you gotta catch it in the right light. But other than that, I will take it. And for $120, $125 for this whole thing here, I mean, I think it was a little little nice touch. Between that bug deflector now, the fog lights up front and the cab lights on top, I think the look of the truck is coming together. In the future, I don't know, maybe do some other things. But as of right now, serves its purpose as is. And I think it looks pretty dang good.
First off, just go ahead and ignore the very, very short hair here. Not a fan whatsoever. I look like I'm like 12. It's, it's just awesome. But uh, came home to get this thing this weekend. Pretty excited for that. And of course, made it through the entire winter without driving that in the snow. And the one weekend I come home, we got snow on the ground. Absolutely unreal. But I uh, just did some little things to this thing. Wiped it all down, just kind of cleaned everything, uh, topped off the fluids, changed the oil, blood the brakes, blood the clutch, nothing crazy. Just one last thing that I have to do in a gravel lot outside the storage unit. Um, and while I am at home, I'm gonna take advantage of the heated garage while I can. So what I wanna show you guys right now though is what's sitting behind me here. My dad's Camaro, which I don't think has been on the channel a whole lot. And uh, it's a pretty cool car. So my dad has had this thing since he was my age. He built this in college as well. And since then, it's pretty much been the same. It was not necessarily the best, you know, streetable car. It was a big block with a four speed. So that's what he's uh, switching and I don't want to say fixing, but just making a more streetable car right now because the plan is he's going to take this on power tour this year. Obviously, I'm going to be taking that thing right there, but he's done quite a bit of work to it. My brother's been helping out. Um, like I said, this thing used to have that four speed, which is sitting there right there. And that is the 3-3 that came out of the charger. He just finished doing a TKX five speed swap in it, which is eventually what I want in the duster. So I'm a little bit jealous of that. He put down this uh, DEI boom mat which looks pretty good. Repainting the cage, finishing up some interior stuff, um, putting a new dash pad in it, doing new gauges, just kind of making it complete on the inside here. I love the T-tops on this thing. It's probably my favorite part of any second gen F body. Probably the biggest project on this thing was he went ahead and repainted everything underneath here. This like nice sheen, kind of like chassis black. I think it looks really good. Cleaned everything up under there. This car is rust free too, which is pretty cool. So you can see the body is really nice as well. It's just kind of, I forget the actual name of this color, but it's a cool color. Once it's uh, washed and in the sunlight, that's for sure. But big block is going to be staying for now. I think it's pretty cool. This thing sounds really good too. I'm trying to convince them to put cutouts right after the headers there um, because it sounds good with the full length exhaust. But I think cutouts on this thing would be perfect for this car. So we'll just uh, kind of see where it goes. Everything inside, he cleaned up the firewall and the engine bay, repainted that. So it's gonna be a good looking car for sure. It is a real Z28 car. And I think he's gonna be doing the Z28 decals on the side, which this car has never had. So it's like two shades of blue, like a light and dark blue. I think it'll look good on this blue. And then we've been talking, uh, not sure what wheels he's gonna do on this, but it'll be something a little more modern, maybe like a little pro touring look, not totally sure what he's gonna end up deciding on, but I like this car. It, uh, there's some pictures of me when I was really, really young with this car. He's taken to the drag strip a lot. And then over here, not sure how old this picture is, but that's an old picture of uh, the Camaro right there. You can see he had a different colored interior then. And then there's an old picture of the GTO what it looked like when he first got it. There we have it. Got the duster back at the unit here. I'm not going to show you what's in there because you guys haven't seen an update on the charger yet. Instagram people have, YouTube people have not. But got a lot going on with that as of right now. Drove this thing back five hours the other night and I uh, missed this thing. Excited to have it back. I got a whole list of things up here. Um, that I'm going to be doing to this thing probably at the end of April, early May, somewhere around that time there. So some upgrades, some changes I want to do, but want to wait until I have all those pieces uh, ready and I'll do everything at once. I got some stuff waiting on the back shelf already, but that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I know it was kind of all over the place between doing a little bit of truck stuff and getting this stuff, not the normal charger content, but uh, we will be back to that very shortly here.